Hey everyone, Dave Hensy Picker here. How's it going? I am in my garage, ready to pull some eBay orders. We've got Hazel the cat here, just chilling. How are you doing, Hazel the cat? Pretty good. And yeah, so I'm still at home. Like I said, no Amsterdam for me. Uh, and I've got a handful of orders. I'll be honest, I did not ship the orders I pulled on Tuesday yet. I forgot on Tuesday, and then I was super busy yesterday and Wednesday, and I never did it. But to be fair, I have my store set to three day handling, so nothing is late. There's no late orders. Everything's on time as long as I ship it today, but that means today I gotta do all my shipping. So, got it all sitting on this table over here. All right, so let's take a look at our orders here, and I gotta actually skip over the ones I already pulled. Yeah, I'll be honest, work feels weird this week, FL 31. Um, just because I'm used to having like a million meetings every day at work, and because most of my coworkers are in Amsterdam, I have had like no meetings. And so like, I'm super productive to the point where I'm like getting everything done really early. And I'm just like, oh, what should I work on now? And then I have to like find new things to work on. It's very bizarre, very bizarre. Ugh, how am I gonna get this? Well, I can't take the ladder, Hazel's on it. Um, Hazel, <laughs> you're interfering with order pulling. Let me see if I can get at it from the other side. Or maybe I'll just stand on these totes and hope for the best. Yeah. We'll try that. All right, these weren't really designed for this. I've done it once before successfully, so maybe, maybe. All right, we're up here. Oh, it's cracking. All right, so let's see if we can't find this. Sniper Ghost Warrior on PS3. And can we get back down? Yes, we did it. Uh, this is used and it sold for $5.99 plus shipping. Okay, so I just wanted to eat dinner. Is there any dinner on my face? And I'm sitting there thinking, I'm like, you know, I said I was busy last night, right? I was busy last night, so I didn't ship, but that's not the truth. Like, as I think about it, I felt like I was busy, but I really wasn't busy last night. I don't know why I didn't ship. <laughs> I think I just slacked. I'm trying to remember what I did. Oh, you know what happened? I know what happened. All right, I sold The Notebook. That's a movie I never watched because I felt like it was going to make me sad. Oh, speaking of that, everyone wants me to watch Dirty Dancing. If you look at the comments in the last video, there's many people that say Dirty Dancing is a good movie, so I guess I should watch it. But I never watched this, The Notebook, because it always looks so sad to me. But yeah, I know what I did. I was like, I was editing footage from a yard sale, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna edit these videos tonight. And I'm editing them, and then I see Carrie's live on YouTube. Carrie and Dawn, my friends. And so I went and I started watching them, and they ended up like streaming from 8 to 10.30. And I pretty much just watched that for two and a half hours when I should have been doing work. So I wasn't too busy. I could have shipped. I totally could have come out here, put that on, listen to it while shipping. I don't know. I have no good excuse. I just was a slacker last night at the end of the day. All right, next I order is an FL22. And I got this at the flea market last week. Uh, I think, I don't know, I might go to the flea market again on uh, Saturday. Can't really decide, I'm a little torn. Wii Sports Resort sold, uh, paid $15 for four games. This was one of them and uh, sold it for 20 bucks. It's really tricky that all these things are on the same day. Well, they're not really, like I could do the flea market Friday, but I can't because I have a day job, but they're open Friday. And then I could do, you know, yard sale Saturday. Uh, but yeah, I have to do my job on Friday, so I can't do that. Oh, this sold and I didn't ship it. All this stuff that's sold, I gotta not lose any of it. I was thinking about pins because like, you know, people collect things, right? Callie comes home yesterday with a couple of Pokemon cards. She's like, Dad, look at these Pokemon cards I got. And she holds up like a handful of Pokemon cards. I sold this Pirate Skull and Crossbones uh, Santa hat. This is a another Disney pin, five bucks plus shipping. And she told me how she like spent all day trying to trade to get Pokemon cards. And I thought that was kind of cool because like that's back, right? She's in third grade and all of a sudden people are trading Pokemon cards again at school. So I was like, oh, well, Callie, if you want to trade Pokemon cards, let me give you some. And I just came out to my garage. I have probably a thousand random Pokemon cards. Some of them are probably really valuable too, but I've just never listed them or gone through them. But I don't really enjoy going through them, honestly. Ah, uh, here's another one. Warriors sold. This is like Peter Pan, maybe? There, you see it? Warriors. I think that's from Peter Pan. Sold for five bucks plus shipping. <laughs> so I gave her like 40 cards or something like that to take into school. And she came back today. I'm like, hey, how was like the Pokemon trading and stuff? And she's like, it was good until we got in trouble, which by the way is lame. They got in trouble at recess. They were trading Pokemon and they got in trouble and they had to put them away. They weren't allowed to take them out. I feel like recess is the time you should be allowed to do Pokemon trading, right? You're sitting outside playing with your friends, trade some Pokemon. I think that's the way to do it. I sold this Disney hidden, hidden Mickey pin. 
for five bucks. A lot of these are five bucks, but there are some better ones. Anyways, all that to say, she came home with what, basically five cards, all right? Four of the ones she had and a new one. And then <laughs> she had traded away 35 cards or something, 30 or 35 cards. We'd have to get her out here to tell the whole story. But I think 30 or 35 cards she traded for one card. It was a hollow, um, and I was actually kind of concerned. I was like, ah, oh, she probably traded them all. I mean, I didn't really care. I looked up all the cards I gave her. They were all worth like 20 to 30 cents a piece, which is not really worth my time. This is Tanya. Tanya bought that hidden Mickey pin and this one. This one she paid $6.99 for. That's a Lilo. Wait, is that Stitch or Lilo? Stitch is the alien, right? And uh, anyway, so I looked up the card she brought home, and it's actually a $20 card. So she traded uh, like 35 20 to 30 cent cards for one $20 card which is like 10 bucks for 20. So maybe seven bucks for 20 if they're 20 cents. Anyways, my little flipper. I was very proud of her. She, uh, she did well on her little flip. Oh, and a lot of people had good ideas with the pins saying that I should put like, grab a piece of styrofoam out of like a shipping container and just uh, stick them all to a piece of styrofoam. It's free and there's styrofoam everywhere. Probably in this garage, there's styrofoam if I looked for it, but yeah. So that was a good idea. Thank you for that. I'll have to do that. It's definitely taking me a while to pull orders like this, uh, just looking through the pins one by one like that. So I am headed to North Carolina. I was already planning on going to North Carolina this month. I had mentioned it to my boss like a month ago. He always wants me to go to North Carolina. He, does, he wants me to still live in North Carolina, to be honest. So I always, I had mentioned to him that I'd try to go in September and he had asked me about it and I kind of like avoided the question. But now that I'm not doing the Amsterdam thing and I got out of that, I think I am just gonna go ahead and go to North Carolina. And while I'm up there, I will do the Commonwealth uh, Uncle Mark's garage sale thing that they're doing up there. They've got like a meetup up there Friday the 17th. So if you're going to that, I'll be there and I'll see you there. If not, that's fine too. But basically I'll just work my day job Thursday, Friday, do that, maybe garage sale a little, hang out at Kevin's thing on Saturday. Sunday I'll relax and Monday through Wednesday, I'll work in my office for my day job. And I sold this, this is a, uh, a weird thing, okay? This is a Crayola car from Mattel. It is from uh, 1987 and uh, it sold for seven bucks. I got it in like just a box of toys on the state sale. They had this box full of like little smalls, uh, some vintage stuff, some not. And I paid them like five bucks for the whole box. I think there was a, uh, a Pizza Hut Reader's Club car uh, pin in there that I sold for like 15 bucks and that paid for the whole box. So everything I sell from there now is profit. There were some Gen 1 Transformers, the real small ones that I've sold. So it was a good little box, probably made me like 80 bucks from like five. All right, so I think these are the two least valuable um, pins. It's Buzz Lightyear and Woody, Sum Sum Edition, T-S-U-M. Sold a lot of them for six bucks for both. So that one's not very good, but you know, they aren't all great. Well, it looks like we got a message on a DVD sale uh, please pack new 20, 2001 Terminator DVD, so no damage. Okay. Um, so we sold the Terminator on DVD. Wait, is it the Terminator 1 or 2? I thought it was so wild how they made uh, Arnold the good guy in the second one, but the bad guy in the first one. It's kind of cool, though. Thinking outside the box a little. I'm not really sure why they did that, but it's kind of interesting. Okay, I found it. This is a special edition. It's in really nice condition, actually. Uh, Terminator DVD from 2001. Yeah, I mean, I think the biggest thing I'm still missing in my reselling life is listing. Luckily, Tina has been doing it pretty much every day. Actually, I think she has been doing it every day for like two weeks. So I always am thankful to Tina for that. Uh, I defining FL71. Oh, this one's gonna be hard to find, I think, Clinique. Um, but yeah, I mean, I really need to go and I might, I might honestly have time tonight. It is, oh, my clock's always wrong on this computer. Let me look what time it is. Somehow it's already six o'clock. I thought it might only be 5.30, but whatever. It's six o'clock um, to pack all this, pull all this. We're probably talking at least seven o'clock. And uh, then I gotta edit the video. So maybe 7.30. That's, that ends up, what ends up happening is you know, I, I say I'm gonna do all this listing and stuff, but then by the time I'm done with everything, I'm tired. But then again, normally I finish at like eight or nine. So if I finish at like 7.30, I could potentially list a handful of items. I should set a goal. I really should set a goal like, you know, I should try to list a hundred bucks a day when I'm at home, something like that. 
Clinique Eye Defining Duo Shadow Linear Line, blah, 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 blah. I don't know, some sort of makeup thing, guys. Sold it for 12 bucks, though, plus shipping. So not bad at all. Yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe I'll set a goal of $100 tonight, right? Like, if I can list $100 tonight, I'd be pretty pleased with that. And that'll also kind of motivate me to list higher dollar items. I mean, I could just list one item that's worth $100. Maybe that'll do that. <laughs> Problem is those don't sell as fast. I mean, that is, you know, people laugh at like low dollar sales, but one of the benefits of low dollar sales is that they sell pretty quick. So I pulled that one pretty quick too. Uh, this is a Goofy and Donald pin. It sold for five bucks plus shipping. So it's interesting, when I was at this sale, uh, the seller was an ex-employee of Disney and she said her job was literally to trade pins. Like she would just stand in the parking lot or near the entrance or, just somewhere at Disney, she'd just stand there and she would trade pins with people as like a full-time job. I don't think I've ever even spotted people doing that, let alone did I know they were doing it. I don't know. Did you guys know about that? Seems bizarre to me. I feel like it could almost be fun to like go out there and do that just to make a profit. Like just trade for better pins. But all the pin traders probably have a ton of knowledge. Uh, Finding Nemo Ultimate Collector's Edition, Blu-ray, Blu-ray 3D, DVD, digital copy, five disc combo pack, $15.99 plus shipping. That's a good one, guys. Brand new sealed. They're supposed to announce a, a new GoPro here pretty soon. Uh, I always get excited about new technology. I'm a total tech nerd, I'll be honest. Uh, is this the one? But yeah, we got a Mickey, or not Mickey, <laughs> Pooh, a witch Pooh. He's like in a Halloween witch costume, or wizard. Which I don't know, uh, costume. And then we've got another poo. Someone bought some poo from me. The thing that brought that GoPro thing to mind is I have a GoPro here that I had bought because I was gonna test something and I never returned it. And looking at that made me remember that I emailed them asking them for a return label and they never sent me one. So I'll have to investigate that for sure. All right, this was the other one of the poo. This is a uh, Apple costume. So it's like Halloween costumes, $8. $8 each on these. So these are kind of cool. Like you could use them as a Halloween decoration, get Pooh in all his various costumes. Kind of neat. This one's from uh, 2000, the year 2000. Been to the year 3000. What is that from? <laughs> nothing, nothing quality, I'm sure. Uh, so yeah, $8 each. That song, I mean. That song is not quality. I feel like it was like a Disney band or something. Oh, this is cool that this sold so fast. Interesting. Um, this is probably worth more on Amazon. I wonder if this is a drop ship. I'm going to check Amazon because I bet it is. They didn't send me any sort of message that tells me that, but like this sort of book would do well on Amazon. Let's take a look. It's not a great, a great Amazon flip, so I don't know. Maybe. Uh, let me pull it and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I think it's an FL70, but let me just make sure. Nope, FL53. I was way off. Yeah, so here's a question I have for you. And I know not all of you like to watch like sourcing videos where people go to garage sales, estate sales, flea markets. But you know, I've got this opportunity here in Florida. And I was kind of talking about this a minute ago. Like I can go to estate sales and get good stuff. I can go to garage sales. They're a little further away, the good ones, but I can go there and get good stuff. Or I can go to the flea market and get good stuff. Cause I've now found locations for all three of those things that I can find good stuff at. So the question is, just as a general opinion in the comments, is what do you like the best? Estate sales, garage sales, or flea markets when it comes to YouTube videos? Which do you prefer to watch? Like, if I put three videos out titled, Great Finds Sourcing Today, and one is a flea market, one is a garage sale, one's an estate sale, which one would you be most excited to click? Just curious. Comment down below if you have an opinion. Uh, or if you don't have an opinion, just want to troll me and mess up my numbers. Win-win. <laughs> All right, DSM-5 sold. This book was sitting in the side of the road, or on the road, not in the road, but on the side of the road. Me and Tina were taking a walk. I saw a box, and in that box was a bunch of books. It said free books. I scanned every one on my eBay app, because that's not hard. Just scan them up. Most of them were worth five bucks free shipping. That's like every book I find in my life, but two of them were worth money. This was one of them. I did this yesterday, by the way. Listed it last night, and well, Tina listed it last night, let's be real. And it sold overnight for $23.99 plus shipping. Might've been two days ago that we went on the walk. Can't remember. I made a reel the day I did it, or a TikTok. Might've been two days ago. Either way, it sold pretty much in less than a day for $23.99, cost of free dollars. <laughs> That's another way to say zero. Uh, so yeah, really cool. Always, you know, if you can, 
if you're if you see a box on the side of the road full of books scan a couple of them maybe you'll find something good all right so the next thing that's sold is an fl11 and it is not the patriot <laughs> i thought it was the patriot but it's not the patriot uh fl11 it's a dvd now the patriot though was a great movie you know it was weird though we watched it in school and i don't remember what year it came out but i remember watching it and saying oh my mom would never let me watch this <laughs> so i was really excited that i got to watch it at school that and i think last of the mohicans maybe watched in school because they were like historical but they were super violent and i was not allowed to watch our movies and i'm pretty sure the patriot was rated R. anyways this is that this is the patriots day or patriots day starring mark Wahlberg. i've never seen this one. Oh, this is about the boston marathon oh man yeah that sounds sad uh but yeah sold for five bucks plus shipping i sold an nc tigey <laughs> Uh, that's what Callie always calls it, an NC Tigey. I've got maybe a couple left, sold it for $13.48, and it was to a viewer who said, I missed out on an NC support piggy, so I'll have to settle for an NC Tigey. Thanks, Dave. Keep up the amazing work. Thank you, Lori. How many do I have left? I have one, two, three more. They're on my eBay. They're not officially support animals, but I think they would definitely support your death pile if you needed some emotional support. I think they'd be willing to. But yeah, $13.48, and then I sold some at a FL70. But yeah, anyways, the Squishmallow haul was good. I think we've listed them all. Again, Tina's listed them all. I gotta stop doing that, pretending like I'm the one doing the work. Uh, I think Tina's listed all the uh, Squishmallows. The kids took a bunch of them. My kids, you know, people always in the comments to my picker videos, like if I buy plush and stuff, and I'll say, oh, this would be good for my kid. They always think I'm lying. Like, oh, you're not going to give it to your kid. If it's something that I say my kid would like, I probably am going to offer it to my kid first. 99% of the time, unless I forget or Tina lists it before I realize it. I got to put this thing down. Hold on. Yeah, so with the Squishmallows, Callie got to pick three of them. And then Elijah and Anna took two each. So the kids kept seven of the Squishmallows. I think I got like 30, so like 23 are for sale. Almost all of them sell for around 10 to $15. The value will probably go up, but I'm sure the value's dropped a little because people are going to Walgreens and snagging them up like this for eBay. But still, at the end of the day, I'll make really nice money. Spent like 35 bucks, should make, should bring in like 300. Okay, so I sold this Metallica CD and Justice For All by Metallica sold for $4.99 plus shipping. It was weird. And this is like, I'm gonna curse myself by saying this. But I went to the post office and I've, I'm to the point now, like I go to the PO box and I just expect to be picking up like 50 returns from my P.O. box. Because um, when people send stuff back, it goes to my, my P.O. box. But I go there and there's only one item and it's a whatnot purchase. There was no returns. And I realized that I've had no returns on eBay for like two months. It's been like two months since I had a return. Which is pretty uh, abnormal for me. Everyone always makes fun of me because I get too many returns. But I haven't really had a lot lately. Alright, can I show you this? Yeah, there. Oh, you gotta hide your eyes for it to show. But anyways, this is Disney Vinylmation Mystery Pin. Skull only. Skull only. Oh, I guess his whole body is a skull. Anyway, sold him for $4.99 plus shipping. A lot of $5 pins today. Tons more available. Here's another pin. This one went to Sandra, who's a viewer from North Carolina. Yeah, I'll be, I mean, I'm not sure what level of picking I'll do in North Carolina when I go up to Kevin's big garage sale. I'm sure I'll pick Uncle Mark's garage sale buy some stuff from him but beyond that i mean i don't know if kevin wants me to hang out at the garage sale the whole time or what uh, all right i sold this mickey pin oh hold on you see it i can't see if you can see it yeah you can see it this is from a cruise line five dollars again five 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 a lot of five dollar sales but those are really easy to ship what i've been doing to ship them and tell me if you do it differently is i wrap them in small bubble wrap tape them up so it's like just a ball of bubble wrap not a big ball but like you know that much bubble wrap and then I put them into a bubble mailer and I feel like they're going to be fine. I could do boxes, but I feel like that'd be more expensive and more work. Let me know how you'd ship the pins. Now, I think I said I was at 150 last time I pulled orders. I haven't shipped any of those and it says I'm currently at $400. So I would imagine it's, you know, since Tuesday, it's now Thursday. It's probably 250, 354. Yeah, because that would equal 400. So I think it's 250 in sales in the last two days, 150 the two days prior. Oh, actually, no, it was a little more because I had shipped some the night. Anyways. Anyways, it's fine. <sighs> That's everything that we have today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah, I did. I will say we talked about it on the show, so I'll let you know. I did launch the whole Patreon idea on the podcast, Trash Cash Podcast. And I didn't do, a lot of you seemed uh, like you didn't like the idea of tying it to the YouTube ads in any way. So we didn't do that. We just said, hey, you know, we have a Patreon. If you want to support as you can. 
And basically the reward for that is you get mentioned on the podcast, either verbally or with like writing. Uh, and a lot of you don't know what I'm talking about or care, but for those of you who were curious, that's how we landed on the whole Patreon idea for the podcast. Uh, I'm not doing a Patreon for my normal YouTube or anything like that. It's just for the podcast. All right. Thank you guys for coming. I hope you enjoyed this. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.